But you know, know that you can be sugar under your sleeve. But the way that you did me and you're doing me still, I can't help, help but to wonder, is your love for me real? Now you do. Hello, hello. So, we are continuing with Hades today. Hopefully, we're going to be possibly finishing the game sometime this month, because I did promise myself that I would finish up Hades before the end of the year. We've only got a few things left to do in terms of getting the true ending unlocked, so I feel pretty confident knowing that I think we can get this done. I'm not sure how long it's going to take or how many more escape attempts that I need to do, but I'm pretty sure we're more than halfway, so let's not waste any time. I'm probably going to bring the shield with me, I think. Because it does have really good range, and I think that's going to help us quite a lot. And then, in terms of what keepsake, I want to bring... Let's see. See, a lot of these are really good, so I'm not too sure what to bring... I think we'll start with, yeah, we'll start with the blood fire, the blood filled vial. We'll start with that first. Let me see, is there any of these that I can possibly change? Let us see. I think, no, I think everything is pretty good actually. Okay. What's Let's begin our escape. Pain? See, so yeah, like I said, I do really want to, to ask too many finish up Hades before the end of the year because it would just be weird knowing that we've only got a little bit left to do, progression-wise. And then letting that like trickle into next year would just be a little bit weird for me because there's so many games that I still want to really play for next year and a lot of stuff I've got planned, so... Yeah, Hades is one of those games that I think, once we've got it finished, you know, it's out of the way. And I've had a great time with it, but, you know, I, I don't want to drag this game out as much as I do need to. You attack inflicts doom, you're special inflicts doom. You cast sends a blade rift hill on ahead. And all these are really good. So let's go with... Yeah, we'll go with the Curse of Pain. Because our special is when we throw the shield. It means I can just deal with enemies from a distance. I don't really have a kind of strategy involved on what I want to bring with me for this um, for this build anyway for this run. I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see how we get on. But of course, you know, one of the key things is making sure we've got a lot of health and a lot of attack damage behind us. Those are always the two key things I always keep in mind. And so far with us like bringing Ares as one of our gods. Who's going to give us some pretty good skills. I think we've got the damage covered already. Gods grant me strength. You know what? It's been, a we it's been a while since we've gone down the well to go and meet Chaos. So yeah, let's, let's go pay him a visit. Severed by that point. 
The next thing counts is you take more damage after your attack deals more damage. We'll go with the epic one. The next one counts is each time you cast, you get hit for minus three health. Afterwards, boons have 37% chance to be rare or better. And I want to bring that with us. Because I think our skills get leveled up when we find Nectar. I just need to make sure not to use my cast at any point. I can use my special, which is good. That's probably going to be my saving grace for this part. One done. And yeah, let's go this way. I don't mind dealing with these enemies if we just keep getting these for each uh, chamber we progress to. I almost nearly used my cast then for a second, I thought about it, I was like, no, 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 we're not allowed to. I don't want to lose any health. Gains a power rush that deals 500% damage. The bow rush charges up faster. Your special deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. I'll go with that one, yeah. Because that's when we have to charge it up. I don't really use that ability that often, I think, with the shield. Maybe I should, like, start using it more often. Down, just got one left. And there we go. That's what you get. Your dash creates a blade drift where you started. Your attack special on cast deal more damage. I think we'll do the blade dash because that has been one of the better skills that I've found myself using in game. now because this is just helpful for this. I don't really have to interact with the enemies, I just need to run around. Key out of it. Although I'm not sure if the keys are that helpful for us at this point. Something I need. Stores health. Yeah, that does restore health. I uh, I don't think I need the treasure. No, no. That's only for six encounters. See, if that was a permanent cast, then I would uh, definitely buy that. So speaking of cast, I'm not sure if I can. Oh no, now I can use it. Okay. I wasn't sure how many uh, chambers we had to do before I was allowed to use it again.
don't have too many enemies left in this chamber. See okay, there's only one location we can go to next. I want pathway to take us forward. go to the store or we can go and get HP. I think I'm going to go and get health up. Especially if we've got the boss fight coming up. Hello, Tisiphony. This is the last sister that I wanted to face, to be honest. She's uh, kind of a... Problem to deal with occasionally. Though, us having the Blade Rift skill might actually save us doing this. Like, he's definitely the more chaotic sister of the three to deal with. Well, we can afford on our own. I mean, I'm thinking a bit of damage. I might be able to defeat her without losing any lives. Possible. That was really close. Cool. So I think we only had like, what, seven health left, I think? Glad that's over. Yes, yeah, seven health, man. That's a little bit too close. But hey, we got out of it though. Okay, let me heal up. And let's see here. I don't think what to bring next with me. Man, I don't know. This is always like the toughest. Oh, Athena. Okay, yeah, we yeah. we need Athena, don't we? For the L pendant. I was gonna say it's always a tough choice which keepsake to bring. Deal 50% damage striking undamaged foes. We'll, we'll take that, yeah. Just for that extra little bit of damage. Change of scenery at least. I think that is uh, the icon for Athena. Like the little wheel shield icon. So we can get the deflectability pretty early on, though. Also, be really useful. Attack is stronger and can deflect. It casts damages falls in a small area and can deflect. That's what we need. Yeah. 
I was going to say, we do need an ability for our cast. So I think I just heard the, the little bell icon so we can possibly fish around here. Oh, there's a fishing spot. Too early to I yeah, I'm so bad at the fishing minigame. Yeah, there we go. The Special the inflicts doom, so we can level that up. Cast damage to foes. I think. Yeah, the cast damage, I think I want to level that up. We can only go one direction. Let me see if I can change this. What else is there? Something better. Mm, okay, that wasn't a, like, a massive difference. It was either get a key or get darkness. I would have preferred health, but... Oh well. shield because otherwise I don't think I would have been able to throw uh, enemy down as easy as we did. Plus 36 health, there's a fishing point with spawn ahead, see I don't really need any of those, no. Definitely not the fishing. Let's go, let's go this way, yeah, get into the Ares skill. This enemy, so I can get my casts back as quick as we can. Okay, we took a bit of damage there, but no nothing too critical. This token of my deep appreciation for your generous support. An offering for me, indeed. How gracious that you keep me in your thoughts. Know that likewise I keep you in mine. Hear me on my authority. Your attack inflicts doom. After you take damage, inflict doom on foes around you. Your attack, special and cast, deal more damage. We do like that damage, so we'll take that with us. I think we're getting kind of close to the second boss also. I don't think we're that far away. at all times because you know we are sinking a little bit low right now with 57 HP. Just 
facing the course. A few skeletons, nothing too crazy. See, these aren't the other aggressive skeletons, the ones I think they're like a blue colour. Who like have really weird attack patterns which I can never like follow. Where's that other enemy at? I know there's oh there it is. I think we've maybe like walk past them for twice, I think. Okay, that's alright. I think we've, well, we've definitely got enough coins to get our life back. It only costs 200, I think. Just need to find an item drop for it. Because the tank deals more damage and knocks foes away. Oh, yeah, we want to bring Poseidon with us. Definitely. We do need that summon, especially for boss fights. And then we'll go, yeah, we'll go this way, because we've got plenty of enough money to spend. Okay, we do need the health. We do need another skill. Well, nephew, I know that salty Charon can be difficult, but I'm certain that whatever price you paid, you got a deal. The boon with knockaway effects deal bonus damage to bosses. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. All these are quite good, actually. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Ah, uh, it's between... It's between the first two. I'm not quite sure, though. Because the boss one could be really, really, really good. Then you know attack damage. Okay, we're gonna. I'll go for the second one. Yeah. The ocean's fury. Seeing as we do have a boss fight coming up right now, anyway, I think there'd be no better time to use that. I see you regrew your neck. These also, because I don't want him to like summon other enemies while I've got another boss fight to deal with. And so the Blade Rift skill is really good for this because the Hydra just kind of sits down still for us. One more head for this. Oh no, we won't we dealt with all the heads. Okay. The second part of this. Okay, so this isn't going too bad actually, so far anyway. so we don't take like any more damage.
Here we go. Yeah, I think if we didn't have the Blade Rift skill for that boss, <laughs> it would have been a lot more tricky to deal with. On to our third location. So yeah, this run so far, it's going kind of okay. Not terrible. Let's see what keepsakes we're bring. I think I'll go with... Ah, this is a tough one, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll get the convos. Yeah. You deal damage to armor. Okay, I don't actually want to spend anything in case we can get Death Defiance back. Because that costs 200. Unless there's any, like, really, really good items we find. But for now, like, I, I think my top priority is getting the, our life back. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure it only costs 200. Pretty sure. That's another reason why I'm gonna brought the shield for this, because of these enemies. Use that no. No, I do need to level up our weapon again. Let's see what upgrades we can get from this. Death Strike deals damage in a larger area. After blocking a foe, gain 20% damage and move speed. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah. Let's go, Aegis. And yeah. Beans go to the store to see if we can get Death Defiance back. But it doesn't have Death Defiance, but he does have some pretty good items though. I can use this. The attack is stronger, 15% chance. Deal critical damage. Hold that. And yeah, we'll buy a bit more health. The strength of the centaurs. The vast and multitudinous riches of both the surface and the underworld are voided by the river boatman Charon, whose services are often tendered to the wealthiest within Elysium. He really gets around. He certainly does get around. And yeah, I don't think I want to buy that. I mean, we've not got the money for it anyway, but I mean, it's only a few gems, so. Also, both of these chambers are quite good, because we can get some pretty good items. Either we get an Artemis skill or a Athena skill. I think we'll go Athena, though. Because you just have the Deflect skill, which I know we've already got. Oh god, we get to face the ball one-on-one. -on -one. He's like, 
He's really not that much of a problem. As long as he just keep running around. And don't like get in his way too often. Plus I've got the shields so I can like create distance between us. Charging right at us. Okay. Yeah, as long as I'm just on the move, got no problems. We don't even have to get all this health bar down anyway, so. Yeah, I think. I've got this one. Unless he like becomes like insanely aggressive out of nowhere. I think we're good. There we go. I think he only got like one or two hits on us for that. Well fought, Asterius. Okay, what a Fina skill did we get? You cannot be stunned and resist some damage from bosses. Death Defiance makes you impervious longer replenish one use. Oh, we do need the Death Defiance though. Death Defiance restores more health than usual, replenish one use. Death Defiance restores more health than usual. Yeah, we'll go. I've got to go with the last stand. I have to. Because I feel like, you know, we're going to need that extra boost of health during any stages when Death Defiance comes into play. Man, all those skills are really, really good. Like, I think that's like some of the best skills that I've ever seen in one go. I did say I wanted Dev Divine Spike, so I couldn't really ask for anything better than that. I'm a crazy fan of the shield enemies, they're kind of a bit of a nuisance to deal with. Uh, we'll go this way also. We'll power up any of our skills. I've also got a well though, so maybe we can like get some health items, because we're a little bit low on health right now.
we've got a few enemies left. I'm also was kind of surprised like there's so many enemies in this chamber. Special Reflex Doom, Dash Crits Blade Rift. Let's go with. Yeah, I think Urge to Kill will level that one up. Slave Files have a 15% chance to drop health items. I think that will buy all those, because all those are really helpful. So I'm pretty sure we're not that far away from the boss at all. But like maybe after this chamber, the boss fight. Very, very close though. I think I'm, yeah, boss is right ahead of the new year. Okay, let's gain some health. I'll pay for that. And then on our way to a boss fight. And I just missed the the gold urn that had money in it, but it's not too bad. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me at any point. It's time, Mysterious. Let us assert our greatness through single-minded combat. So, the same strategies I always do take down the human first and then deal the mana for the second. I've really still like, even after so many hours of putting time in Hades, I still really don't have a strategy for how to deal with the human. I just kind of get my hits in when I can really. So I feel like at this point, like, these guys are just a mid defeat already because we've faced them so many times and managed to win. This is the main reason why I want to take him down, because this part is uh, a little bit to deal with. Who yeah. actually felt like managed to kill both of them like right after each other that quickly? Alright, let's get out of here and heal up. And yeah, I'm gonna bring Spike Cold with us, so we've got a bit of extra health. What else? Getting a random item offered. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? I'm out of here. So we don't have much left now. All we need to do is 
find the key item to get out of this location, and then we've actually got Hades to actually face one on one. Well, yeah, this run went pretty well, actually, <laughs> of all things considered. Let's see, which way do I want to go? Let's, yeah, let's start off with this one first. Because two of those chambers contain a boss, or a mini-boss, should I say. chamber could just have rats in it like that. So far, so good. Yeah, we're getting through this pretty okay. Enemies left. I think this might be the end of it, the chamber then, because there's a lot of enemies right now. It's not like a really cramped area to be facing so many of these guys at once. Attack is stronger, 15% chance to deal critical damage. Yeah, let's bring that with us. Alright, let's get out of here. Going back. Didn't also check what items he's got. Oh, he's got health. Do you need that? Also, 350 health, that's not that bad at all. And then, yeah, we'll start on this one next. I do need to watch out more for that poison because it is starting to like aid my health pretty quickly. Zeus and other members of our family of your existence, Zagreus. It was Uncle Poseidon here who first leapt up and pledged his power over sea and earth to you. Is that not so, Uncle? Exactly so, Athena. You with that fine memory of yours. For it isn't every day I learn my doleful brother Hades sired a fine son. He does not know how good he has it there. And you, nephew, could have it even better here. You cannot be stunned and resist some damage from bosses. I do like the sound of that. Duo power. Excellent. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know if I want to do the other chambers or if I just want to actually get to the boss. 
because I do think we can maybe get through this chamber. Because it does reward us a lot more money. Spawning. It's also like, I feel like the wall spawn attack is like kind of broken because you can really, really abuse that like so easily. And the amount of damage it does also. Like right now, see, like they just they just get stonewalled all the time. I'm glad like enemies can't do that to us though. I feel like that would be really, really difficult to deal with. part of this chamber because it's quite a wide area. here unfortunately. Yeah, it looks that way anyway. We got poison. Oh okay, this might be this might be a bit of a tricky run then. Not yet. Yeah I don't think I'm gonna do the other chambers, no. I think I'm just gonna leave them alone. Pleasure doing business. One life to do this in. Prince of Zagreus once more offers to I mean, it is possible. one of his favorite sacks. We just can't make any like, small mistakes at all. the queen queen of the underworld my queen commanding reverence and awe and fear she was not just what was the term you used a consolation prize you are as disrespectful to her as you are to me oh, what would you even know you claim so much respect for her yet you didn't even respect her enough to tell her what happened after she left but what am i saying i know you love her still father that best explains all the terrible choices you've made. All the terrible choices I've made. I don't think that was the right thing to say to him. <laughs> We're just going to get him pissed off now. You will have made fewer. Although I fear you shall surpass me in at least this one regard. This is going to be a bit of a challenging boss fight. But we do have the distance binders, so that is one thing. And we have the blade rift, which is going to help. So I don't have to interact with Hades that much, I just need to like run away from him. Also, I feel like it doesn't matter how many like times I do this boss fight, I always like feel on edge at all times. I don't know where he went. This is 
kind of bad for us actually. You really want to deal with his minions? That none of us hit him, but. Okay, there we go. Not making this easy for us. <laughs> this is like kind of nerve wracking, to be honest. I think as long as I don't lose his health during this, I think we might have a chance of beating him. Really close to the second phase. Oh, man, only one more hit and we've got the second phase coming up. There we go. We've only got eight, only 88 HP, so <laughs> this... I, I'd be surprised if we like even managed to deal any good amounts of damage to him for this part. You are somewhat stronger than expected, boy. So we did get to a second phase. So it's not all bad. But uh yeah, it wasn't a successful escape attempt, unfortunately. Oh, father. We did give it our best shot though, but it just wasn't our time, unfortunately. It seems I can trade anything okay, I do need some more Titan blood. So, I was to for. upgrade our weapons. Yeah, let me see if we can actually upgrade any skills and upgrades while we're here. Because we do have 730 darkness with us. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to level something up. Oh no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think we can level anything up actually. So a percent of health instead of dying when your life total is depleted. I don't want to use that. C 
seeing if any of these I can maybe swap over. Reduce move speed and damage of foes with casting them. Deal bonus attack and special damage to foes with casting them. Regenerate your cast uh, rather than picking it up. Gain wealth when you clear an underwater region. Maybe we could level that up, maybe. Deal bonus damage while your life total is at 80% or above. That could also be quite useful. Deal bonus damage for each Olympian whose boons you have. Raise your chance for better rewards. Raise your chance for a boon to be a legendary or duo if possible. I'm going to put a few points into that. Okay, yeah. That's all I want to do for now, I think. I'm trying to see maybe if I should bring... I see you through the different weapon was it Phoenix a new aspect who's Guan Yu I've never seen this before you have the frost blade but your health oh oh no that sounds bad actually no so our health gets reduced special damage range and speed can go up you know what, yeah, I do want to level it up, yeah. Because we've done a successful escape with that before. Our fastest time was 38 minutes. Plus it does have a lot of spin attack, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I think I'll bring the, that, the trident with us for next time. Maybe, yeah, bring the Pierce Butterfly with us. Okay, yeah. I'll give this, uh, yeah, we'll give it another go. Yeah. See how we get on for this one. This ought to be interesting. See if we can get a, a successful escape attempt today. This will probably be my last uh, attempt also for today. Because that one did take a little bit long. The attack is more range and deals more damage. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Sharpened. Damage one in and yeah, let's go for our first skill. That's pretty cool, we actually killed both of them in one hit. Hand it to you, Zach. You don't back down. You don't ever back down. What is this, like the 20th time that you've attempted to escape? I think it's been more than 20 times. I think, like, 50, I think. Your attack inflicts hangover. Your dash causes hangover several times near where you started. Uh, we do need a cast ability, so we'll go with that one for now. to make sure like, I don't get hit at all during this so we can add that extra damage to us. Hmm. 
And then we'll go... Yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah. So we can level up our skill. Attack deals more damage? Yeah, why not? Why not? Then we'll get our Phoenix skill. Keep fighting, cousin. Fight from out of that eternal gloom. I trust you'll be joining us upon Olympus shortly. Your attack is stronger and can deflect. Yeah, that's what we need. That's a relief. We can also get another Athena skill. Hey, why not? Why not? You and me. It's the range on that cast ability. That's actually really cool. Especially stronger can deflect, your dash deals damage and can deflect. Um, we'll go with the special here. Because I'm gonna probably have to like throw that quite often. Check how much damage do we have right now? Or is it not gonna say? Let me check. Bonus damage 12%. That's not bad at all. I don't know like how far it stacks up to. I'm not too sure. 12%? Pretty good. You need help. That is a must. Also, what is that over there? Oh no. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. I'll take this one. So definitely don't want to be fighting Karen. Definitely not. I think I've only faced him once, and that did not go well. as we can. Without getting hit, because I really like want to make sure we have a bit more extra damage for this chamber. Off the boss fight also we've got coming up. There. Hey there we go. Enough, I managed to get through it. So let's see what chambers do we have next? Uh I think we'll go with that option, yeah.
Okay, we did get hit there, but it's not too bad. We've got like quite a lot of good damage behind us. Good enough to eat. And should be sure I do want to level up. Because that skill is going to be helpful. What else? Uh, nah, we don't need to buy any of those, no. It's a shame we're missing five gold, so I could do with another skill power up, but uh, meh, we'll be alright. One fury sister coming up. I'm also curious which sister we're going to be facing. Oh, we're facing her again? Ah, she's the least favourite I wanted to face. Kind of, oh, I've noticed we can deflect. Oh yeah, we can deflect to our attacks. So okay, maybe this won't be as bad then. She throws a lot of attacks at us, so we can deflect every single one of them. That wasn't too bad. Oh man, that like wipes away the hell. Yeah. And maybe this will actually save us having this uh, fuel with us. There we go. Man, that made the boss fight a lot more easier. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad we got that skill, because that might be really, really, really helpful for pretty much every boss fight we've got coming up. Yeah, let's get out of here. So that's the first area done. Didn't give us any problems really. I uh, do want to change to. Let's see, which skill or keepsake do I want to bring? I guess I could bring. Let's see. Either Artemis, Ares, or Athena. I think I'll go with Athena though. Should help. Not Athena, Artemis, sorry. Uh, do I need any of these? Has deals more damage? Yeah, we'll bring that. Yeah. I see you, Tartarus. Courtesy of the pact. You want to die again? Got to wait for him to land. Come on, come on. There we It in. There we go. Two hit two hits. Crazy. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, I feel I feel like this run's going pretty well. I don't know if it's going as well as like previous one we attempted. But I think we've got some skills that are a lot more effective for this run. Especially having like extra damage behind us. We're looking to like get some really good Artemis skills before we face the next boss. And we should be pretty good. Next. But we've got all our lives remaining, so another good thing. Okay, 
let's go... Yeah, let's go this way. Unless we can try not take any damage, because we do have full health right now. Okay, there we go, perfect. I'm not sure we're supposed to be able to like stun one then that well, I'm really not sure. I mean, it's a massive help though. Also, our cast ability like dazes them for a few seconds because it seemed a lot slower when you, we hit them with it. Okay, let's go this, this side because we do need an Athena skill in our setup. Cautious here, we don't take any damage that we don't need to. Come on, there we go. Just waiting for him to land. It's a shame Artemis can't join us down here. That would be actually really cool if like gods could actually like co-op with you or team up with you. Your death strike deals more damage. Artemis. Oh yeah, we need Artemis as a summon, definitely. Alright, let's keep going. I don't think we've got too far to go till we meet our second boss. I don't think so. So yeah, I feel like we're flying through this area really quickly. Because we're doing like bonus damage, it's getting our god gauge up like even more quicker. Should try and can deflect. Yeah, let's go for that. No one's here. Can we get to a star hell? That is good. So yeah, we've got to be really close to this second boss now. one to level up. Any health effects are more potent than stores health now. If you take damage, damage and complete the chill foes. 
that's going to be helpful. I know you missed me, Lenny, and I missed you too. That's why it looks different. It's got like different horns this time. Just face it head on, but I, I kind of want to play this a bit defensively, I think. There we go. And he's completely chilled anyway, so that's good for us. Let's wander heads down. the last part. A bit close. I think we're like five health away from getting killed off there. Good, no more yeah, heads. five health. Man, I think it was like what seven health during uh, the last attempt of that. It was like a similar situation. Okay, let's heal up. And let me see what I think. Broken urns have a six percent chance to contain health items. I think. That's probably going to be the most ideal thing to bring for this. Don't have enough. Yeah, that, I think we picked the right option because I don't have enough money to uh, enough get any health back. It restores ten health. So yeah, I think we need to find a lot of those though. Uh, also, let's go this way. Let's level up our weapon. More chariots. It's a good thing you can hit like two enemies at, at the same time. Otherwise, be, I think we'd be here for a long time. Strike hits three times, but your dash has minus range. Special deals damage and then deals critical chance on recovery. Do you like the sound of that? Stronger. So let's see what skill Hermes has for us. No, no, I feel like I, you know I, I've been mean to Hermes the god 
in the past. <laughs> and he's actually kind of pulled through and given us some pretty good skills in recent runs, so... I don't know, maybe we can actually get a good uh, item from him. Special is faster, your attack is faster, and you move faster. I think we'll go for the Great Haze, because we get to move faster. Let's see, we start 10% health when you enter a chamber. Defense Flame Wheel Falls from appearing in encounters for 10 encounters. We need to go for the health option, I think. And let's see, I do need another f skill, yeah. Let's see. What skill Fina gives us? We also need to level like Artemis summon skills up. We can like have a bit more of an extra punch for damage. Should hopefully be the last enemy. So I need to get that. Like, there we go. I need to get that health back. Your dash deals damage and can deflect. Your abilities that can deflect also make foes exposed. You begin each counter with your god gauge partially full. That is what I do need. And yeah, let's see if we can get another Athena skill while we're here. Because we've been doing so well so far. There we go. Lady Athena. If the fight stalls more health than usual, replenish one use. This damage from traps, your dash deals damage against the flags. We'll go with that one. Strength of the goddess. And yeah, let's go this way actually. See if there's anything useful over here. Good. 
Hey, there he is. I was wondering when we were gonna meet this guy again. Ah, a means to drown my sorrows temporarily. That's good. And rather kind of you, I have to say. It's nothing. Thank you for not trying to slay me where I stand and boast about it, like seemingly everyone else around here. Tell me, stranger, if it pleases you. How is it you keep running into me? I thought this the remotest corner of Elysium. I definitely need to read up on this guy's story, because I really don't know anything about him. You know, apart from that he's a fallen warrior. But that still doesn't tell me a lot. The ever-shifting chambers of the underworld leave quite a bit to chance. I took our meetings merely for coincidence. When chance is too far-fetched to be believed, then it's the fates at play. Or something else. I don't know whether to believe you, but I know that I want you to leave me now. I wonder what this guy went to. Went through, should I say. Thanks five chambers restores 30% of health when you enter a chamber. The next 10 encounters your attack deals extra damage. Both of those are pretty good. I think... I don't know. Next 10 encounters or 5 encounters. 5 chambers we get to restore health. I, mm, I'm going to play safe and go for the health option. Because that 60% damage sounded really good. But, you know, the damage isn't going to do much for us if we're, we're already dead in the game, so. I do wonder what, like, 60% extra damage would actually feel like. Nah, I don't know. Maybe I did pick the right option. We'll definitely get to see it at some stage. See how, like, how this run goes after this location. So we've honestly not got far left to go. Once we're done with this boss, we to get to Hades. Be the last enemy? Yeah, there it is. Come on, money, get out of here. I think we always need assistance. I think also if we beat him, we do get more health, so that would be really good. We are beating him by a wide margin right now, like 4 kills up against 11. Is that all of them? Nope, still got a few left. is like pretty chaotic, pretty chaotic right now. I can't even speak, that's how like overwhelming it is. Only four against 15, man, there was over like nearly 40 enemies in this one location. It's crazy. Why bother 
with such empty gestures. Uh, and we've got two health boost skills. Not all great, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. It's not an empty gesture, then. Besides, if I wasn't trying to stay focused, I'd be drinking it myself. Listen to me. I don't know how else to put this, but I want you to come home voluntarily. It's not just you swept up in all this nonsense now. And I know you didn't ask for me to get involved, but what did you expect? Fen, home is never going to be the same for me. There's no use trying to pretend. I have to go. You don't have to do anything of the sort. You have no idea how good you've had it here. Maybe someday you'll come to understand. Have a seat. successfully get this chamber done, like we're gonna have a lot more health going in. I'm gonna see how we get on with the upcoming boss fight also. That's gonna be like challenging or if it's gonna kind of be pretty easy to deal with. Made it out alive, and that's all that matters. I suppose can we get even more health? I mean, that is tempting, but we do have a lot of coins to spend. You take less damage while at 40% or below. Using a fountain restores all health and gives you bonus damage. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Alright, let's get out of here. And then we've got a boss fight coming up. I don't think we'll give us any issues because we've got all our lives remaining and I feel like we've been, you know, doing pretty well this run. Attack us if you dare, blackguard. Asterius and I stand ready. But I just do the same strategies I always do. notice we're not really doing a lot of damage to the minus all yet.
also like it's like been unlocking a lot of attacks which is really really good. down to half health already. Trying to like, like be as cautious as I can so we don't um, end up losing a life for this. Health remaining. But the good thing is we've got all our lives remaining for this last boss. We've just gotta to get to the last boss now. Be seeing all of you next time, alright? Alright, let's get our health back up. And yeah, I'm gonna bring a spike hall with us for that extra health. You deal 50% damage to armor. Uh, I don't think I wanna do any of those actually. I think I'll leave those alone. Because we can get a lot of really, really good skills and upgrades from the shop before we face Hades. So I do need to collect as much coin as I can. Maybe this will be the successful win that we need for today. Do actually need to save on a water coin because I mean, can't buy any of those items yet. Right, onto the chambers, it is. We'll start with. Yeah, we'll start with this one first. Let's see what's in here. Don't really have any particular order that I want to do them in, actually. Also, I'll be right back. One little small thing that I've got to do. Okay, I'll be right back.
Alrighty, there we go. Yeah, it was just like a small little thing that I had to go do, but uh, yeah. Alright, let's get back into this. So close to possibly getting a good uh, escape attempt going here. If I play the save. Managed to get through these chambers with no uh, difficulty. should be the end of the chamber also because normally when it's like the big wide open areas, normally the end of it. The last thing I want to happen, got to heal up. Definitely not making this like chamber easy for me. It's uh man, like the variety of enemies, the amount of enemies on the screen, it kind of a lot to deal with. Wait, please tell me that's the last one. It is. Get out of there. Attack is stronger and can deflect. Yeah, let's hold that one up. Let's get out of here. And then we'll start with... Yeah, we'll go and get the HP chamber dealt with first. Or next, should I say. Probably have the flexibility, otherwise I think it'd be poisoned like 20 times over. There we go. Items at the well. Use so ten percent of health into a chamber. We'll buy that. We'll buy that. Yeah. And we got poison. Gotta get rid of that. I need to make quick work of. Alright, there we go. Has to be the last of this lot. I 
it's not a sun poison. Oh, I had it. This is, there it is, there it is. Gotta got get rid of that. So there's like a rush to get rid of it. Probably gonna lose that light here, but, but good. Kind of be okay. Yeah, there we go. That's to happen eventually. Please tell me this is the right chamber to... No, that wasn't the right one. Okay, well, we can buy... One of these. Critical effects deal even more damage to armor. I don't think we've got any massive armor enemies coming up. Your critical effects deal even more damage. After you cast or hit with an attack or special fire a seeking arrow. Buy that. I'll make every strike count. You have no... Uh, what zones left take 10% less, less damage and deal more. Whenever you cast damage throws around you and inflict chill. A lot of cast skills in this run, I've noticed. Point there. I can see all the arrows just going everywhere now. That's, that's going to be pretty helpful for this boss fight, actually. That's so many arrows going everywhere. Should be the place. Here we go. Got the sack. Got our skill. Death Defiance makes you improve this longer, replenish one use. That is perfect timing. Alright, let's get out of here. I know I don't have enough items to buy any more skills, but I think that's good enough. We've got full health, we've got all our lives remaining. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the chambers. I think I just want to deal with Hades now. See if we can actually get this done. Which I've, I've got a good feeling that we can get make this a good successful escape attempt today. Because the damage is pretty good. We've got some really good skills with us. Full health. Our lives remaining. I think we're going to get this done. You're never late, father. Why? Why do you keep showing up? In spite of knowing that the outcome shall be just the same as how it always was. Beats having to toil away under your overbearing supervision. And besides, as you may be aware, I've recently made up my mind to leave this place. Yeah, utterly incorrigible. When next we meet here, then we'll keep it brief. I have grown weary of our aimless conversations. Now prepare. Alright, let, let's do this. Darkness. Oh, it took like a small chunk of health away from the already. No seeking arrows. I'm really glad we got that skill when we did. Because it is like chipping away at his health really quickly. Not to mention the summon skill we've got, which does critical damage. And we also can deflect items, like... I'm um, kind of got the whole, like... What? That uh, skill set going on here. I've like, got the whole package, you know? Deflect, damage, critical damage... I don't know. Couldn't have asked for a better, uh... Final boss encounter, I think. Need to take care of his minions. So I can stay on top of it and not let it like become too out of hand. It shouldn't be a problem. Is. 
fucking what work is not little minions. It doesn't solve a problem. No, this is going really well so far. I took a few hits then, but nothing too bad. Phase is coming up really soon. There we go. So all lives remain. Yeah, I think we got this. I really, really, really think we got this now. You also watch out for when he summons the creatures that can be uh, like brothers. Not sure when he does that though. Unless he's doing it now. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's doing that. Man, it's getting a little bit tricky now, I will admit. Yeah, that's alright, that's okay. Yeah, it's kind of worrying that this is our last chance now. I think I know where I went wrong with that. I think the last minute I didn't rush into him as quick. Ah, uh, he's strong. I'll give him that. That that everything was going so well, and then I just kind of made a few fatal errors, and it all fell apart. <laughs> ah, we tried that. All right, let's see what uh, items we can possibly renovate. 
Claiming darkness chambers of wardrobe more help. That could be good. Let's look at a lot of few new items. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, we've got for now. You sing beautifully, mate. If only Eurydice could hear you singing this right now. Oh, thanks for the sentiment, my friend. It's just when I sing this song of hers, I, I, this feeling where my heart once was that, well, perhaps she can. Uh, it was all going so well, <laughs> and then just couldn't, couldn't. Perhaps she can get that last second phase over and done with. A moment. Hold, child. We did pretty good. Though. I have a message for you from my daughters themselves, concerning the blade of the underworld in your possession. Wait, you mean the fates? And Stygius? I'm honored that they would have taken any notice of me. What is it that they want for me to know? They wish for me to impart to you these words, so that your blade, in turn, may hear them uttered from your lips. I see your kingly parting from a prison of stone. Repeat them and remember. I see your kingly pardon from a prison of stone. This must be for one of the weapon's hidden forms. Please tell your daughters I am very grateful, Mix. I shall, child. Although, I'm certain they already know. Though whether they are aiding you, or this is simply what must come to pass, I cannot say. I'll take my chances, it's the former. Bit of a prophecy. Let's see, is there anything in these I can trade? Get more Titan build. Buy that. Now I've got eight in our possession. It's the most I've ever had in game. This one's for you, three fakes. I can claim that. Let's see, is there any other prophecies that we finished? Still missing two items for that one. Can't level any of those up. Not right now, anyway. I level with you, pal. You have impressed somebody well above my pay grade here, and so they have a little proposition for you. I've you never seen these. I, I'm not wondering if these has these items always been here, and I've just never noticed. Yes. They want me to fight all the way through the underworld, having used the Pact of Punishment over there to make the going even more treacherous than it already is, and if I succeed, they'll reward me with some sort of useless trinket. Wrong! We're talking something really big here, pal. You see that thing back there? Trinket. Come on, what are you, scared? Yes, a little bit, if you must know. I need to fire up the Pact of Punishment to reveal this. I don't think the rules, pal. Oh man, that's going to be tricky then. So we need to put the heat gauge all the way up to 8 to unlock whatever is behind there. Man, that could be difficult. I'm also trying to think what item to bring with me next, actually. Because we're doing so well for that last boss fight. I see your kingly pardon from a prison of stone. A future aspect. What sort of name is Arthur? You have Hullet Excalibur and 50% your life total. I'm definitely gonna unlock that. That's a cool looking oh, weapon, also. That's a nifty sword. Stygius, reveal your secrets. And it has damage reduction? Oh, that's a cool looking sword. That's really cool. I'm definitely bringing this with us next time. What's up like that? That is really cool, that like effect on the ground. And it's like different effect patterns also. That's really cool. So yeah, I guess I'll bring that with me next time. I'm trying to see um or keepsake. I guess we can bring We will shall bring the Athena our pendant, I think. We'll bring that for next time. 
But yeah, I gotta clear one of those. That's the pact over there is the key to revealing this. That's gonna be tricky to get that done. I mean, I'm up for a challenge, so. But yeah, I feel like that's gonna take a long time. See if there's anyone else I can talk to. Cerberus. Or if there's anything I can do over here. I love the cult music notification, but I don't want to really do any of that yet. Let's do it. I think I've outgrown my other bed. Not that there's been a lot of time for sleep of late. You've got a new bed? Uh, what else? I guess we could do that. Claiming Darkness Chamber rewards give you HP. Your asking price, good contractor. Well worth the fruits of your hard work, I'm sure. You know, having a bit more extra HP, never gonna be a bad thing. Hold, lad. You've regained access to the administrative chamber, right? I never thought you'd want to go in there again. Oh, believe me, I don't. But I would like to be able to go where I please around here, and confounding father is another benefit. I suppose I can see that. Well then, on my quite limited authority, it pleases me to say, you may proceed. Appreciated, sir. Alright, let's leave here. I think that's probably gonna be where I end things also. Um, fortunately, you know, we didn't get a... Oh, we got, well, we got an achievement. <laughs> that's, I guess that is an accomplishment. Yeah, out of the two escape attempts we did today, it wasn't successful, fortunately. You know, we gave it our best shot both times, but we did unlock a really cool new weapon, though, so I do wonder... That's going to play a big part in us in possibly finishing the game. Alrighty, so that's where I'm going to end things. Um, but yeah, we're going to be continuing with, with Hades. And like I said, I do still plan on finishing this at the end of the year. Um, not the, as soon as possible, really. Um, so I can focus on other games in January. And yeah, alrighty. So I'm going to end things here. And yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Hope all of you have a good day. And yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.